Hello, today I wanted to show you how to host static files using an Express.js server. Now you can go ahead and add this functionality to an existing Express.js server, or you can start a whole new server and host your files as a CDN, as I'll be doing in this video. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and do a yarn init in your console to start a node project. And I'm going to go ahead and let that all uh, be blank for the moment. So if you go come over to my files here, my uh, my file explorer on the left, I'll show you what I have set up. So this created a package JSON, so a node project here in this Express.js CDN demo directory. Inside of that directory, I have a files folder. Often this is called public or static, um, but this is where the files that I want to be hosted publicly will be. And so I've just put a couple in here for now, a quick image of a check mark and a file-1.js. So I'm gonna go ahead and close those and I'm gonna go ahead and create an app.js. This will be the entry point for our server. I'm now going to install Express. So I'm gonna say yarn add Express. This is what we're going to be using obviously to create the server. Wonderful. And now I'm going to import it at the top of our server file. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna let GitHub Copilot do some of this uh, foreign stuff since this is pretty standard for setting up an Express server. And so this should be something you will be able to find uh, all over the internet if you don't know how to already. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set the port and I'll set that to 4080. Some of my other ports are currently being used. And then we're gonna go ahead and set a middleware here, but this middleware is called express.static and it is part of the express package and it allows you to basically host, um, host that directory that you specify publicly. So I'm gonna set express.use and then inside of .use, you say express.static and another set of parentheses, and then you specify the path. So in this case, I'm just gonna do underscore underscore directory name plus, oops, not underscore plus slash files because that is the directory that my files are in. Um, you can use path.join here, which may be a better way, uh, or but make sure that you specify somehow the directory to your static files. Um, so yeah, that should really do it for setting up our static files here, our CDN. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it to listen on uh, the port we specified. And I'll set it to console log. There we go. And this should do it. So now I should be able to run node app.js here. And there we have it, a server listening on port 4080. All right, so I've head over to Chrome and to my local host 4080 that we're listening on. And as you can see here at the, uh, at the base directory, we have nothing. And this is fine, this is how it should be because uh, we have no, not set up any endpoints. But as you can see, the server is live and running. So all I need to do at this point is go ahead and go to the file name. So I'm gonna do slash file-1.js and this should open up that file1.js. You can say this is my file one. Uh, this just gives me plain text um, for the JavaScript file. So I can use this inside of say a script tag and set this to the source and it should import perfectly as, it, uh, as, it's done, as it has done here. And now let's take a look at the other file really quick. Uh, what was it called? Checkmark-webpack. And let's see, there it is. You can see the other files being hosted live. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe, and go ahead and check out all the code that was written in this video, um, despite it being very little. In the description below, there's a GitHub link, and you can go ahead and fork that, uh, that, direct, or that repository, or clone it, or how, whatever is helpful to you. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.